Good evening. I'm Robin Carlion from Robin's Authentic Tarot and thank you for visiting my channel and I thank you very much for visiting my new readings which are the chakra readings. So this was in my community, my Facebook community and through messages that I've received um, over the last couple of months. Um, very profound messages that I was meant to uh, move on and uh, come to this platform and share these readings with you and bring the uh, beautiful community that I had before with me as well. So I thank you so much for being here. I love talking about chakras in uh, the readings that I do and now it is such a passion of mine to to talk about and to share the messages that I receive from spirit for the chakras, for the energy that is within each one of us. So for your reveal, you have the main solar plexus card. So what I mean by the main card is that this one here, um, there's a main card for each one of the chakras. There's seven chakras. So there's seven of these uh, in the deck. And so with this one, this one has affirmations to it. And there, I mean, it's, it's, it's like there's that amplification to that and spirit. Speaking of amplification, we are in between two eclipse energies. So we had the eclipse that was on the uh, new moon in Taurus, and then we have the lunar eclipse that's coming up on the full moon in Scorpio. So, um, and also it is Mercury retrograde today that I'm doing the videos. So uh, very, very interesting, but this is fire energy. And with that fire energy, there's that passion, there's that desire, there's that that fueling that you have to take that action and to just just like blaze that path in front of you that that you have. There's that courage, there's that willpower. That's all of the attributes and the characteristics of the solar plexus of the fire energy. So before I get into this card, I'm going to look for this in the book and this one here is the chakra insight oracle guidebook so uh, or the chakra insight oracle deck so i'll have that below the link so you can purchase it for yourself if you would like and that is card 15. just give me one second here we go okay So there we go. I actually don't have my glasses with me, but I'm sure I'm going to be okay reading this if I just put it away. Okay. So I am strong standing in my personal power today. I am worthy of being loved, respected, and listened to. I am proud, confident, and happy with myself. I deserve and accept the life that I dream of. I choose to move forward in life. So with those affirmations, I will put those in the comments so you can use those for this week. So with the solar plexus energy, this is about taking action. This is about us being in, you being in the foundational Taurus earth energy right now where there is restructuring that's going on. So there was the first card of this evening. There was, um, so the, the first reading that also had uh, the solar plexus in it. And that was about choice. So I really do feel that it's so weird. I feel like there's a lot of leveling up, but I feel that there's, I feel like there's, there's paths that are, it's almost kind of like maybe you're not even expecting it or even expecting the growth that is going to happen for you. Now, this is um, because there is that part of that action taking, right? So uh, 
if you take that action, if you allow yourself to get out of the comfort zone. I saw a quote the other day and I actually shared it with someone and they wrote it down and was, it was actually really uh, profound. Um, it was, it was saying that the magic is in the work that you're not doing. So you know how there's like that procrastination <laughs> that we all do. And so that is what this is talking about. Or there is the, you know, the plans or the amazing messages and signs that you receive in your mind's eye and you let them sit there and there's nothing that's being done with those. What I'm feeling for some of you is that there you're you're in this lane, but I feel like you're gonna be jumping lanes and and it's it's not completely veering away from what it is that you're doing, but a big enough jump that you're like, what the heck is going on? So that that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like there's there's big leaps. I feel that there's there's big changes that are happening and there's that confidence, there's that willpower, there's that knowing inside of you. This is representing that inner flame that is ignited within you that you allow to ignite within you. And you allow yourself to really let it out. And that's what this energy is all about. In the Taurus energy, in the amplification of the two um, eclipses, we have like this really, really powerful, powerful energy. And we're moving, like I said, we're moving into that air energy, which is more of like, there's that communication, there's that thought process, there's that receiving more messages. Taking this action is really going to catapult you. I really, it's, it's, it's such an amazing, incredible card. Actually, the solar plexus, um, if you have followed me or did watch my videos in the uh, raw community, you would have known that my favorite chakra is the, is the solar plexus. The solar plexus, there's like that inner child. So that inner child within you. So not, not your childhood, but the inner child as in the one that we all possess within us. And so that inner child sees the toy. So think of like a, a toddler and think of um, this, this toy or this sandbox. I use the sandbox analogy sometimes. And so just picture that there's something that, that you as your toddler self want to do and there's you can't see you can't hear anybody else nobody else exists except for that toy now in present moment that toy is your goal your desire uh your career um anything you're working on professionally absolutely personally too um whatever your goals are that is what that toy is. And so you want to put those blinders on and you want to work and take action as, as hard as you can and just be so focused and so direct with your movements going forward. Now, there's so much passion in this and that's why I love the solar plexus is because there is so much passion. And even as I am, I'm doing this reading, I'm like pumping myself within because I know from that, uh, from that saying or that quote or that post that I saw, um, the magic is in what you're not doing. And, oh, I was just like, um, this can be the solar plexus can definitely be, um, that, that teachable moment, uh, feeling being schooled, being schooled. Definitely. Um, I love being schooled. I love being made aware of, of things from spirit. 
and I'm like, yeah, okay, I get it. And so it was, it was like almost like twice. I heard it in two different ways. So, um, absolutely. Like there's, there's definitely things that I'm not like jumping on because there is that comfort zone. Right. And so, um, it's, 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 it's moving in and, uh, taking those baby steps, but taking those leaps too. Like I said, like, I feel like there is a, like, there's a big jump into another lane. I really, really feel that we are in energy. We're in a brand new era. So there are things that are going to happen that are going to surprise even you that are going to surprise even you. I've been through the same thing. I'm going through the same thing. It's really remarkable. It's really exciting. And really allow yourself to get pumped up with this energy because you deserve it. You deserve to be pumped up. You deserve to know that you can achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve. Yes, it's going to take time. Yes, it's going to take work, but it's going to definitely be so incredibly worth it. This is awesome. That's why I love the solar plexus. That's why I love this card. It's so amazing. It's so awesome. I thank you so much for being here and sharing my first series of the chakra readings with me. I will be doing those and my intention is going forward to go live. Um, this was the first time. So I just kind of wanted to see like how I felt and kind of getting, you know, getting my toes wet. And so, um, thank you for being here and supporting me while I'm growing and flowing. So I really appreciate it. I thank you for showing up for yourself. I thank you for coming and listening to me. And I thank you so much for supporting my channel. Thank you so much for helping me grow. I love you so much. Have the most amazing week and I can't wait until next Tuesday. Mwah. I love you.